Welcome in to a new week. Thank goodness we got rid of that eclipse energy. Okay, I stand corrected. I've got my hat in my hand this morning. Hi, everybody. Thomas Miller on the Fun Astrology Podcast. Glad you have stopped by. It is Monday, June 8th, and we got we to gotta do a little Monday morning, uh, quarter, Monday morning quarterbacking of Friday's eclipse because, wow, yeah, the last time we were together, I was scratching my head wondering if this whole eclipse energy thing, you know, like what is it, um, how much. Now, I will say, I think Friday was pretty benign, but Saturday was the square between the sun and Mars, and that was when I felt it more. I don't know about you, whether Friday was more amplified or was Saturday more amplified, but Saturday was the square sun-Mars, and boy, that's when I really felt that, and I took a big step back, recognized it for what it was, and knew that we were in the backwash of the eclipse and just wrote it out. But, I mean, it was punchy. There's no doubt. It was spiky energy for me. So, yes, the Mars-Sun square. But, you know, what was really impressive is how this thing unfolded around the world. Because, definitely, the protests that have been underway, and very eclipse-like, by the way, they spread around the world. And I think that's great. I mean, people are... Are, are expressing their voices, their voices are being heard, regardless of what side of the issue you're on. It's always great when people come together, especially to affect positive changes. And it certainly looks like this whole conversation now is shifting into more positive territory, certainly more so than it was last weekend, before, you know, the weekend ago. So that was good to see. And then, yeah, the crescendo Saturday, Sun, Square, Mars, literally marches around the world. The uh, What was kindled in Minneapolis, Minnesota, literally spread worldwide. And then, poof, it was gone. At least quieted down. So we'll see where it goes from here. But also that energy starts to uh, to relax a little bit as the sun pulls away. Now, what do we have for this week? Not much. <laughs> Today, we have the moon in Capricorn. And that is significant because as I'm launching into this, talking to you, the moon is around 21 degrees. It's going to conjunct Pluto and Jupiter today, ingress Aquarius tomorrow night, then it will conjoin Saturn right after it steps into Aquarius. But, you know, all of those planets are retrograde, so I don't know. I don't even think, I don't know that the moon is even going to give us a hint of what will be happening when all of this stuff turns back direct again, because the energy's just pointed in a different direction. But we'll see. I mean, we are on alert, moon in Capricorn, today and tomorrow. That's worth noting. Now, the other big aspect of the week will be the sun squaring Neptune, and that happens Thursday, early, early Thursday morning. So we'll talk about that ahead of it, but uh, that's really the big only major aspect that happens this week. Otherwise, we're just following the moon as basically it wanders from Capricorn today through Aquarius, Pisces, and finally into Aries by Saturday. So I think with that, let's just keep this one short because we haven't had short ones for a while. So let's just use the quiet to be quiet. And this would be a great time to do some reflecting and some pausing. So I would say zen in and just go inside and reflect on everything that's been going on and use this quiet week as a reprieve. Do some journaling and some meditating. Be a good one for it. I guess I'll check in tomorrow. Should I check in tomorrow or should I get a day pass until Wednesday? You know what? I just We just talked about it. There's absolutely nothing that will change tomorrow. So let's take a day pass. I'll see you guys on Wednesday, all right? Have a good one. We'll talk then. Bye-bye.